So what we've got is the, the Green Hater 56. That's my backup mower, that's always got issues, but we don't need to get into that today. So, it is Tuesday the 13th of February. Now Monday, yesterday, was my first day back and so far it's not gone particularly well. <laughs> um, yesterday was an amazing day and sun was out all day and it was really cool but we had some real, real frosts and they didn't go till about midday so that really, you know, knocked me back four hours. So for me at the moment it's all about the winter iron treatment. So that's putting out a high dose of iron that's going to darken the lawn, strengthen the lawn, but also start attacking the moss, ready for the springtime. So when I take the scarifier over, I can then rip out the dead moss straight away. But today hasn't been great, it's been torrential rain so far, and it looks as though it's quite sleety actually, yeah. and I don't think it's going to ease up for much of the day. So I'm going to take this opportunity, I've got two mowers that I need to go and get uh, looked at, take the opportunity to take them to the dealer, and um, he can sort them out. One's a warranty job, I'm hoping, um, and the other one is, I think, just a little bit of old age. But uh, I'll take you with me and uh, I'll show you those mowers. So, first thing I need to do is uh, make some room. Um, I can keep this iron stuff here in, but I can remove the 36 bone. I'll get that out and then I can make some room. Um, just got a brand new washing machine, so if anyone wants one, there's one sitting there, which I need to get rid of. It works perfectly. We just had the opportunity to have a brand new one. Might need that. I'll take that. And I will need another ramp. everything I need.
don't think you've been here before. This is my secret top location. This is uh, another shed I own. <laughs> um, and this is kind of where I keep spare equipment and backup stuff. Uh, so I've got two mowers in here which don't work at the moment, or one does work, but it's um, got a few issues and the other ones, again, actually does work, but it's got a few issues. So we're uh, going to take these two to the dealers. So what we've got is the, the Green Hater 56. That's my backup mower. That's always got issues, but we don't need to get into that today. Um, then I've got this Alco, uh, which is an all right mower. It's Oh, text message. Greg Francis, are you interested in a 56 Pro? <laughs> Funny. Answer is yes, I am interested in a 56 Pro, but not right at the moment. Not quite sure what's going on with mowers um, as to what I'm going to do, so I'm going to wait till the, uh, the new financial year and then, uh, then we'll take it from there. So I've used this on um, one particular lawn that's very rooty and you know, I'd, I'd prefer to mess a wheel up rather than mess a roller up. Another lawn, which was actually quite a big lawn, but it was at the top of a flight of stairs. So taking this up the stairs was a lot easier than trying to carry anything else. And it's still a 21 inch mower, so it's, it's still pretty big. And then at the back there, we've got the Time Master. Um, when I first got the Time Master, it had a bit of an issue with it. I think the gasket's gone because it seems to just leak oil. So if you remember the video I did when I cut three acres with the, I still laugh about that now, when I cut three acres with the Time Master, by the end of the day I'd pretty much run out of oil. It was getting dangerously low. So that's still under warranty. So I'm going to take these two mowers to my local dealer and uh, hopefully he can sort them out. Biggest trouble with this is just getting it around and out, moving it out and about. slower and slower and slower to the point where the wheels might go round yep. but it can't take its own weight. Right, yep, fair enough. Yep. So that is what that is. This, um, this is a warranty job. So it's all registered and everything. And basically when I got it, mm -hmm. it I think the uh, what do you call it? The it's gone from my head now, the gasket right. has gone, so it's it's just leaking just oils just appearing kind of all over the deck. I'll just chuck this one out. I 
did have to push that one around some of the time. It's not right, <laughs> is it? No. no. But it's good for, you know, if you've got a quite a big lawn up some steps or something. Yeah. Yeah, because it's a light mower, that, that's yeah. the beauty of it. I sold one of them 41 Pros the other day. Yeah? Yeah. No, they're decent, they are. That's moved for a long yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, don't know, um, I think it's slightly bigger than this one, really. Because they do this, but this they do the professional. I think that's the one. Yeah. I think that was the one. So that probably has got a, a Kawasaki or a or whatever one. engine. Yeah. Yeah. So that's a. Uh, that's the mower's gone away now to um, be serviced, fixed, whatever. Um, so I'm just looking at all the areas of grass as I drive around to um, Hazelmere, and they're all flooded, everything's waterlogged. It's supposed to clear up in an hour or two, but I, I can't see it happening. Uh, well, I can see it clearing up, but I can't see that the ground's going to be workable. So I'll probably just go back, mix up some um, iron um, and prepare for tomorrow, although tomorrow is supposed to be wet too, but at least I get a head start on uh, having everything ready to go. Question is, do I repair that and then invoice the council? I don't think the council would pay to you. Okay, so I've got some iron mixed up now, so that'll be ready for when there's an opportunity to to get it out. It has actually stopped raining now, but everything's still sodden and waterlogged out there, so I think really it's a uh, Time to knock today on the head and uh, go home.